What it do, man? It's your boy Battle True coming to you live and direct from the Battle True headquarters. Let's get right off into this. It has been brought to my attention that um, I received a video of Murder Moot. Uh, what what are we gonna call this? Like a quarantine party? And I'm noticing people are throwing quarantine parties and smoke sessions during the time of the coronavirus that continue to spread, and this pandemic continue to get bigger and bigger. I keep telling y'all, this is not the type of disease and virus for black people to have, to be playing games with, celebrating and taking this as a form of disrespect to show your disrespect towards the government. You brothers really need to get it together. Get it together. And I have to address you on this situation, Moop, because you are a public figure and personality. And when you show blatant disrespect like that, what it does is allow other people who would who would who would have took this thing serious to not really want to take it serious because you're not taking it serious. I saw the video with you out there drinking with them and partying with them brothers, smoking and drinking, and y'all sitting out there really recording y'all self as though this is some type of joke. When you should know, you in New York yourself, bro, and you know they brought the National Guards in. And it's because of situations like that. Same thing what happened with the Casanova person. Y'all playing these games as though this is a joke. And people are losing their lives as a result of this. And when you are irresponsible and sensitive to the degree and nature of this situation... Y'all are going to be the leading causes of other people getting affected by this uh, disease, losing their lives, hospitalized, and them actually clamping down even harder on states and cities, you know what I'm saying, because of the stupidity and foolishness of what you see niggas out here doing. Sad to say that today I got some more disturbing news. I got a call from a supporter of mine named De Niro. De Niro called me and he wanted me to know and share his story of what happened today at 12, um, at 12.40 p.m. today. De Niro first wanted to start out by telling me that he appreciate the fight I've been doing on YouTube and raising the awareness of the coronavirus situation. And because of me doing blogs and things on it, he was taking it serious. Because at first, he wasn't. But after listening to my blogs, he started just taking it more serious and really locking down and clamping down on his home. He wanted to share this story after telling me to keep up the good job that I have been doing with raising the awareness of the coronavirus and getting people to take this situation serious. He goes on to say his uncle named Troy Boone, 52 years old. On Monday, he was having headaches and went to the hospital. Now, I want you to pay attention to this MOOC. Troy Boom lives in Staten Island. He worked at the post office in Manhattan. This is De Niro's uncle, his mother's brother. Troy had been complaining that he had headaches. He started developing these headaches. And as a result of it, he went to the hospital to see what was going on. At the time, the hospital uh, uh, sent him back home. And when the, his situation got worse, a fever, he began, he, 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 it got worse as he began to, uh, his temperature started rising and he developed a fever. Then he went to the hospital and was tested positive for the coronavirus. They admitted him then. And because he was having trouble breathing, they put him on a ventilator because he couldn't have, he, he was having trouble breathing. Monday, he had headaches. Wednesday, he developed a fever. 
He was admitted that Wednesday, and he died today at 1240 from the coronavirus. He was a healthy man, according to his nephew. He didn't smoke. He worked and lived an honest life. They don't even know if they're going to be a, be able to get his body. The hospital may not even release his body because even though he did from the coronavirus, the body is still contaminated. And even if they do release the body, there will not be a funeral for him because of the situation in nature at hand. Not only that, while this man was in a hospital fighting the corona disease, hooked up to a ventilator. He was not uh, able to have any visitors. So his family couldn't be there with him. His wife couldn't be there with him. He was there all by himself, only for them to then pronounce him dead that Sunday. So you never know because ain't nobody there. But I'm not going to say that. I'm just putting that out there because I want brothers to be aware. Like I've been telling you. When this thing happens, do you think niggas going to be the first one to receive the proper medical care? No, you're not. No, you're not. Did you pay attention? He had headaches on Monday and they sent him away. When he developed a fever on Wednesday. They admitted him. He couldn't even hardly breathe, so they put him on a ventilator to help him breathe. And he died four days later. Four days later, which is today, at 12.40 p.m. This is what I've been trying to tell y'all, brothers. No matter what your conspiracy theories is, no matter how much y'all are the government behind this, it don't matter. One thing you have to know for facts that is the truth is here. It's here. So since we know it's here, regardless of who behind it, you take the proper measures to assure the safety of yourself, your home, others also, so this thing don't get spread even more. Y'all doing the opposite. Y'all doing opposite. Y'all purposely out here playing these games, tampering with the lives of other people in your ignorance and being irresponsible. And being insensitive to the matter and situation at hand. Stop acting like niggas. And start acting more responsible. I can't stand when brothers do this type of stupid, foolish stuff. And it's like everything have to be recorded. Everything have to be uh, 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 straight to Instagram. Straight to YouTube. Straight to Twitter. For some type of vanity or popularity. What's wrong with y'all, man? Y'all don't take nothing serious. Being irresponsible and being foolish the way you're doing is going to have a lot of people hurt behind this situation. Whether they're affected by it or not. Because they're going to continue to keep clamping down. Clamping down more and more and more on you till you get it right. Don't come with these weak conspiracy theories, ideas. Who gives a damn? It's here. What are you going to do now since it's here? That man lost his life. And he died alone. Wasn't able to be see his, his, last, his loved ones. He was a married man with a family. They couldn't even see this man in a hospital because of his situation and because it's contempt, because how contagious it is. So no visitors were permitted to see him at such a dark time in his life. And he died alone. And when brothers is acting so stupid and foolish like y'all are doing and being irresponsible out there, that's horrible. And I'm disappointed in you, Mook, and your actions and what you did, brother. Especially for you to be this brother who carry himself as a stand-up, 
responsible dude. That was very irresponsible of you. Even if your conspiracy theories or whatever your belief is or what this coronavirus situation is, who started it, uh, where it's from, whether you believe it or not, you have to know because of your position and your popularity and your name that certain things you do, you can't be insensitive uh, of regarding to your feelings. Regarding to your feelings. Because when you act a certain way, it's a domino effect that allows other people to act and carry on in ignorance also because they're looking at you do it. You didn't have to record and broadcast yourself out on the block drinking and smoking with the homies. You didn't have to do that. Y'all could have did that without cutting on the camera. Even though it was still foolish, but when you cut on a camera and you broadcast it, what happens is you allow other people to not be sensitive of the situation also. Stop being so ignorant. Stop being so inconsiderate. Condolence goes out to the Boone family, man. I mean, I know that's a hard thing, man, to bury a loved one, man. Thing about it is, I'm saying condolences, but I didn't even know the man. But y'all knew him. And it's obvious he was a loving man. He worked an honest job, man. He lived an honest life. And according to uh, De Niro, that's what happened. He was a military man. And from the military, he got out the military and he started working for the post office in Manhattan. Brothers really, really need to get it together. I didn't know his uncle, but he had a wife. I'm pretty sure she loved him. And I'm pretty sure his children loved him. And I'm pretty sure his sisters loved him. I'm pretty sure his whole family loved him. And he died of the coronavirus that he contracted from somebody else who probably was careless they damn self. And this is what I'm trying to get you brothers to understand. This is not no game. This is not a disease that when black people get it, we're going to get first priority. You're going to be first priority. You sound crazy. We're going to be last to be taken care of. Sad to say it, did you hear his story? They turned the man around. And he lived an honest life. And he worked an honest job. He worked for the government, the post office. And he went to the hospital because he was having symptoms. And they sent him back home to self-quarantine. Don't you get it? Self-quarantine. Look, we can't help you. Go home and we wish you well. Go home, we wish you well. Hope it work out for you. That's all niggas getting. Y'all sitting out here playing like you finna be first priority. Nobody takes it serious until it happened to them. Like I said before, my sister had it. And she's fighting it. So it's her mother fighting it. We just seen Ben Swayze, one of the first persons of uh, battle rap, being reported having it. Glory to God that through the prayers of everybody that prayed for him and that um, lift him up in prayer, God had mercy and compassion on him, and he survived it. But people like Troy Boone, wasn't fortunate like that to survive it. And he died today at 12.40 p.m. Start being responsible. If y'all saying y'all love y'all family, y'all love y'all children, y'all love y'all self, act like it. Stop always trying to kick knowledge. Stop always trying to think that, you know what I'm saying, y'all are head of the government or you know the damn government plan but ain't doing nothing about it to, to uh, make sure other people's lives and things is better. Just jacking off at the mouth. Playing nigga games. That being said, man, it's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment. That's some question. It's yours. Um... Condolence to the Boone family, man. I don't, I don't really know what to say. I'm at a loss of words. I just hope things go well with y'all, man. And y'all take this time to not be divided as a family, but that this situation can draw y'all stronger to each other, man. 
and that y'all seek God in everything. No matter what you face, no matter what you go through, put Christ first. And in putting Christ first, allow Christ to be the Lord of your life, man. He's still a healer. He's still a provider. You can't go wrong with him at all. No matter what life say, no matter what they throw at you, Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Period, man. At the end of the day, when all this stupidity, all this foolish stuff coming down to an end, it still comes down to this one point. What are you going to do with Christ? And that really shows how you care about yourself when you're able to acknowledge that the Lord God himself loved you so much that he died on the cross for your sins so that you could have eternal life. If that don't move you and that's not good enough for you, then you're just a waste of life. You're just a waste of life. Simple as that. Anytime you can show blatant disrespect to what the Lord God did for you to try to save you and your family, your loved one, because you ain't man or woman enough to step up to the plate to do it, just a waste of life. Simple as that, man. Everybody in life is givers and takers. Either you giving or you taking. Jesus said, whoever's not for me is against me. Because the only thing you doing is scattering the flock. He who does not help gather them, only scatter them. If you're not helping gathering them, the only thing you're doing is scattering them with your poison ideologies, with your poison theologies, with your poison information and persuasions on why you think this and that so that you could be glorified rather than God himself. Rather than God himself. We choose God. We choose God. May the hand of the Lord be on y'all family. May y'all don't lose hope. May y'all don't lose faith. Draw nigh unto God. And please, please understand, even though things happen, always understand why you are alive, why you are living. You have been given the grace from God to repent, to be changed, to come into a saving relationship with your Savior so that you can have a better life. Don't you ever lose hope of that. Don't you ever lose focus of that. Miss Battle Truth. Subscribe to the channel. It ain't my judgment lesson question. It's yours.